Hello everybody, my name is Lego Lee and welcome back to Lego 2020 set review. Today we have the Hidden Side Drag Racer set. This set here retails for zero US dollars because this is actually a free threshold promo on Lego Shop at Home or in the Lego stores. Simply by spending $45 or more on Lego products, you can get this set here for free. It has 134 pieces and here is a front look at your box. There is the back of the box and included with this set is one instruction manual that has 50 pages of building. Here is the set all completed. You just get the one build and two figures. Look at those figures first, then talk about the drag racer itself. The first minifigure included with this set here is Jack, who is not new, actually not even new for the 2020 LEGO Hidden Side sets. He came a lot in a fair number of sets with the 2019 original initial wave of Hidden Side. Doesn't mean he's not a great figure. Love the printing, love the cell phone, and I especially love the hat hood combo piece from the back. Good double-sided face and back printing as well. I just wish Wish they had mixed up this Jack figure a little bit. The one other minifigure included with this set, the ghoulified figure, if you will, here is Dwayne. Now, if my research is correct, this figure is technically exclusive because it's an exclusive combination of parts. However, none of the parts and prints are new. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I do love the torso print, love the leg print. That face print is great. Double-sided face, it's, you know, just some face back printing. That's pretty cool. Good back printing as well. I love that logo on the back of his jacket. I just wish this minifigure were a little bit more unique. I also wish that you got a version of this guy before he became a ghostly ghoul-like character. It's kind of weird that you don't get his original version here. So some flaws with this figure, but it's pretty neat. This drag racer here is appropriately skinny, but also very very long. Actually, just comparing it here to an older style of Speed Champions car, you can get a good feel just for how long this vehicle is. It has a nice size for a pretty small set. And while these techniques I wouldn't say are super spectacular, I still think it looks pretty good. I especially love the use of this Ninjago bone piece right there. That looks nice. These lights up front here, also attached on by that same bone piece, look pretty good. And then the macaroni pieces with the exhaust fire parts look fantastic along with its engine. It all really helps to capture the drag racer kind of look. Now, as we move towards the cockpit section, it gets a little bit bulkier, has a good design, great color scheme. I love the mix of the normal red and the dark red pieces, and you can put your one minifigure in there with a steering wheel. Now this reveals kind of the hidden side play feature of this set. Simply by pulling on these panels right here, you can reveal these very creepy eye pieces. This is a fun play feature, and look at that print. That is a great print. It's not exclusive to this set, but this is one of these smaller sets that it does come in. I really like that play feature. However, it's pretty visible from the side. It's not all that hidden, which is kind of of ironic. I wish they did a better job integrating it in because it's super visible, but it is still a cool play feature. And finally here, there's actually an added stunt feature where you can take your Dwayne minifigure and put him onto this back section of the vehicle right here. And this is very simple, but it works pretty well. Simply by pushing on this piece, it'll actually launch him out like a cannon. That's a pretty fun little play feature. And additionally, this part can move up and down a little bit. So that's a very fun added play feature to this set. It's definitely a bit tricky to try and critique a set here that it was completely free with a threshold promo from Lego, it's hard to really, you know, complain about it because this set was free. I didn't pay anything for it. However, I don't really think this set adds a whole lot to the hidden side line. There are no real new pieces, exclusive prints or anything, and the Jack figure is very common. I also do wish the Dwayne figure had a before haunted version. It's kind of weird that he's just the weird ghostly version of that character. With all that being said, I think for a drag racer, this is a very good design that could definitely be used outside of the hidden side line with a couple modifications and the cool little hidden side play features. While they're not that smoothly integrated, they work pretty well and it's fun to play with and it's a very nice size, especially for a small set. And this set probably would have cost about $15 if it were an actual retail set. So getting it for free is fantastic on Lego's part. So all those things considered, I'm gonna this set here an 8 out of 10. Those are just my thoughts though. Love to hear yours in the comment section down below. Also guys, while you're at it, please like this video, comment on the video, share the video with all your friends. Try to find me on Patreon. 
and support me over there, that would be amazing. If you did, thank you to all my Patreon supporters who are currently supporting this account. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on whatever pages you can, and check out Spotify and iTunes to find my podcast, Brickology. This has been LEGO Lee 329. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.